breakfast and we're gonna head over to the computer store now because uh, we can't really find anywhere else so it seems like the best place to get the computer um, so yeah we're just gonna head over we can drive again today it's not our restriction day so yeah I'm just gonna head down to the car now and find Shayna and the boys and uh, head over there Okay, so after two and a half hours in the computer store, we finally made it to the mall. So this is Eskazu Mall. This is the mall that most of you will probably go to. It's, I think it's the biggest one uh, between this and City Mall. This has the most choice uh, as far as stores, uh, North American stores, things like that. So just gonna show you some of the stores in here. Not gonna uh, waste a bunch of your time showing you as we're shopping and stuff, but just so you have an idea of what's uh, to be expected here. So I just went in the DJI store and the Mavic Pro, or the Mavic 2 Pro, it's the same price here with tax as it is in the States with tax. So it's kind of crazy. I guess I kind of try to keep all the pricing the same. Good to know if I want to upgrade. Yeah, so we're still walking around the mall here and we'll get something to eat soon and uh, see what else there is. All right, so we stopped at the food court here. <laughs> Just because we're having uh, a good dinner tonight, we actually just made reservations for a Brazilian restaurant that's up above Escazu for tonight. So we're just gonna have something quick here. Um, so on like the fourth floor here, it's hard to find. It's right by the uh, cinema and then there's stairs or escalators that go up. So uh, just if you ever come, that's where the food court is. All right, so we're back at the hotel. So after lunch, we stopped at a little churro place where they made fresh churros. It's really good actually the one we got was a stuffed one with the uh, caramel and uh, I got to see them make the whole thing which you're seeing right now and uh, yeah now we're just back at the hotel gonna uh, have a little relaxed time before dinner oh, no way. <laughs> and uh, yeah just relax uh, let her legs uh, relax a bit from walking all day and yeah then we're gonna go for dinner so we're just gonna get an uber up there don't really want to drive anymore today. All right, so the Uber's on its way to pick us up for dinner. Uh, again, if you guys haven't used Uber before, it's like the way to go. Uh, we like, I think it was like an hour and a bit ago, we set the time for them to come to pick us up to make sure we were at our reservation on time. And he's here now.
arrived to the restaurant. It's called Fogo and uh, they've actually moved to this big white house with pillars. Jane's like, are we actually going to the White House? Look, check it out. <laughs> So it's really dark in here, obviously for dinner. But so how it works is one appetizer cold, one appetizer hot, yeah. and two. Uh, I have two. Yes. Oh, those. Okay. Okay. One, one, and two per person. Remember that this is a small. You get all you can eat meat with the classic uh, Brazilian uh, meal. There's a cold uh, appetizer you get. You can pick one. You can pick a warm appetizer, and then you get a choice of two accompaniments with the meat. So yeah, all you can eat meat and then you get other stuff as well. It's not like the buffet style like the other places are. So yeah, it's a little different uh, take on it, but it's still gonna be good. Okay, so I had to get the traditional Brazilian drink. It's a Keprahina. I believe that's how it's said if I'm wrong. It's close to that, but it's kind of like a Brazilian mojito, but they use a different type of rum. And uh, it's really good. It's uh, minty and limey as well. refreshing. So in an older video of ours before we moved down here when we visited the city of Vancouver, British Columbia which was close to where we lived before, uh, we went to a Brazilian restaurant there and I explained the whole deal with the red and the green. <laughs> so what do you do? So if you give up and you don't want anything else you put your card down like this. So I'm gonna do it again now in Costa Rica. <laughs> So uh, basically, if you're at the table and you're eating and you don't want them to bring any more like of the unlimited meat that they bring around, you just put the red side up. And if you would like some more, put the green. Makes sense. Super easy. So now four years later, I'm explaining it again. All right, so I had to come out and show you guys the view from up here. You can see all of the city. So we're up above Escazú in the mountains. Uh, as you saw in the B-roll of us coming up, we're actually driving up in the mountains through like the suburbs of, Sa of San Jose. So we just finished dinner here at uh, Fogo or Fago. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it. Uh, nobody <laughs> said it in there, so I'm not sure. But yeah, what an awesome dinner. Uh, cool experience with an amazing view. Uh, I don't know if they do lunch. I didn't ask, but it'd be cool like during the day to see that view as well. But at night it was like spectacular. Seeing all the city lights. You could see the soccer field was all lit up because there's actually a game going on uh, right now. And they had it on the TV. So it was kind of fun. cool seeing the, the uh, stadium and then having the, the game on the TV as well. But yeah, what a cool, it's a cool atmosphere. Uh, the White House. Didn't see any. I didn't see Trump or anything like that. But <laughs> um, yeah, food was awesome. Uh, all, the, all the beef was really good. Like very well prepared. Very well seasoned. Uh, they had the chorizo nice and spicy or the non spicy one as well so yeah, definitely recommend coming here when you're in San Jose uh, we took an uber it was about 26 minutes from Santa Ana where we're staying uh, it wasn't too bad up the mountain um, but yeah if you're in Escazú it's even closer because you just come straight up from Escazú where the multi plaza is but um, yeah I think I think that's it we're just waiting for our other uber to take us back to the hotel uh, to come but yeah 
Yeah, I can't can't say enough. Uh, Alfredo, our uh, our waiter, he was awesome. Super nice guy. Really good uh, good English. He has family in Toronto, so he said he's saving up to go to Toronto in a couple of years. We told him don't go in the winter. <laughs> So we're getting the video off now. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the, all these uh, videos, the last three of us here in San Jose. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Uh, we appreciate it. Also, leave a comment below. Uh, we can chat on there. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Uh, hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come on new videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Ciao.